Hello, my name's um, Diane Kerr and I have the privilege of having the name Auntie and I'm an elder of the Wurundjeri people. So I honour my ancestors and my elders and I pay homage to this sacred ground that we're on. My name is Sue Lopez Atkinson. I'm a Yorta Yorta woman. For decades, Aboriginal people have been stating that January 26th is not a day to be celebrated as it commemorates the beginning of the dispossession of Aboriginal people with the arrival of the First Fleet. If Aboriginal voices had genuinely been respected, the date of Australia Day would have been changed as people had reflected on our voices. Reflection is often a challenging process which requires asking yourself difficult questions. These might be, why do I cling so tightly to this date, knowing how hurtful it is for Aboriginal people? Am I focused on empathy and enlightenment? Aboriginal people do mark January the 26th as a day of survival. We have survived dispossession with many principles and practices of our culture continuing and being revived. Survival or Invasion Day is marked in opposition to Australia Day on January 26th. We need a day that we can celebrate together, a day that unites us rather than divides us as a nation. More and more non-Aboriginal Australians are joining us at Survival Day events and joining the campaign to change the date. I congratulate the City of Moreland in taking an important place in this movement. I hope that many more citizens of Moreland will join in the movement to change the date to one that authentically represents respect, reflect, celebrate. Hi, I'm Liz, a descendant of Young Kanjara people of far northwest South Australia. I've been living in Melbourne for 44 years. Celebrating Australia Day on January 26 is divisive. This date only refers to our Anglo-Australian history. It isn't cause for celebration for the descendants of the people that were already living here and had been for thousands of years. Everything changed for the worse for them from that time on. And sadly, many Australians don't know or acknowledge the impact that that had on our people and still has on our people, the first Australians. Council wants to encourage conversations to find a date more suitable for a national day of celebration. A date that we can all respect, reflect and celebrate our shared history. Not one that divides us. My name's Aislinn Martin and I'm the co-chair of Reconciliation Victoria. As January 26 approaches, we ask that you mark the day respectfully. Reconciliation Victoria encourages everyone to recognise the honoured place of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in our nation's history and be sensitive to the feelings of people who may see the day as one of mourning. This is an opportunity for all of us to promote understanding, respect and reconciliation. You may even decide to hold a mourning ceremony. Talk to your local traditional owners and community and be sensitive in your communications. Speak to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff at your organisation and offer support if needed. Visit Reconciliation Victoria's Magalie website for more information about protocols and the Reconciliation Victoria website for our position statement on January 26. I'm here to talk about the City of Moreland, particularly about the 26th of January which is known now as Australia Day, but many Aboriginal people call it Survival Day. And I have a lot of work that I do with the City of Moreland. And the reason I do that is because I find them very inclusive of different cultures. And I think it's wonderful that we can come here as many peoples and enjoy the atmosphere and be safe and be able to talk to each other but I also enjoy the journey as an Aboriginal person and elder and the respect that is shown to us from the city of Moreland and I get to come and do some citizenship ceremonies 
um, but I don't do them on the 26th of January because I find it too hard. But I'd like to thank the City of Moreland for standing out there, for standing up for us, particularly the Aboriginal community. But I also enjoy that we do come here as inclusive peoples and enjoy our journey in peace and harmony. Thank you.